Howdy everybody, Drank is Dank here with another Feed the Beast Let's Play video. And today guys, today I'm officially declaring that today is Get Things Done Day. I came in here, I didn't know what was happening, I had no idea. But today, after so many amazing and helpful, helpful is the key word, Amazing and helpful comments on my first video. I where did where did that sticky resin go? There we go. Um, actually, think I may kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so goals today. Oh, is that not what that is? There's something where I can. I don't. I don't know what it is. There's something that I can make that I get saplings more often or something like that. Because I want rubber tree saplings, because those rubber trees are awesome. Because I want rubber, because I want to make cables, because I want to... Oh gosh! Mustache spider! Get off me. Okay, hold on, I need to turn that down just a tad. That should be good. Oh, and check it out, I got a waypoint. Casa del Drank. More mustache spiders. And then I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna kill that sheep because I need some wool to make a scoop. So I can get some bees. Look at me. I'm I know things. That that is the moral of the story right now. <laughs> okay, so I got these. Now will those refill their Alright. Dumb Zombie, you don't have to be angry. We can talk this out, okay? Now, my question is, and I guess I'll look it up instead of wasting my time asking you guys, um, is, will, will those little sticky resin dots, will they refill themselves if I chop down the rest of the tree, I guess, is my question? And I will look that up on the interwebs for two seconds here, uh, and I'll, I'll be right back, and I'll, I will come back educated. Oh, oh! Look at that. It's already back. Give me that. Okay, guys. I'll be right back. Alright. I looked it up, and that'll just be... That'll be just fine according to whatever forum that I just ended up finding on the internet. Um, but... Okay, so let's see. I also... I want rubber wood, right? Because that, I can actually smelt and get rubber. If I remember that recipe correctly. So, let's go around, let's look Let's look for a couple more rubber trees. Maybe we should... Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, okay, this is a definite... So I'll leave these little rubber logs there. And I'm going to turn down my sound just a bit more. Um, I'm going to kill three sheep. And I... Well, first I'm going to kill a skeleton. But I'm going to kill three sheep and get wool to make a bed. So I can sleep this through. Guys, 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 guys. Calm down. I don't want to die here. You don't want to die here. Okay, maybe you do want to die. Ooh, look. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Punch him, punch him, punch him. Pickaxe. Stone axe. Yeah. Sucker. <laughs> okay, sheep. One. Two. Three. There we go. And this is another rubber tree. This one doesn't have a Thelio on it. That one shouldn't have it. I don't know. Do the ones that are in the trees, is it possible for them to have the little rubber things on them? Eh, doesn't look like it. Hope I'm not cutting down good stuff. Um, let's see if I can get a sapling. Come on, there we go. Got three rubber tree saplings now. Let's get some more. I'll just let that keep falling. All right, I'm going to go back, uh, make a bed, sleep it up, and maybe come back with a scoop, too. We'll get some bees on our way back. All right, see you guys in a second. Okay, epic observation of the day. This thing is giving off light. That is so cool. Look at these. Do all of them do that? Because this thing is bright. I'm impressed, except it's not melting snow. So that's something interesting. In a vanilla Minecraft, there's no difference between light and what is considered to be heat. 
Uh, it's the same thing. So how bright something gets is how hot it gets and how much it can melt snow or ice or whatever. And it, it looks like that light being given off that uh, beehive or whatever it is. I'm not really sure what exactly. Oh, this one's not giving off light. Oh, now it is. Wow, look at that. That is really cool. And that's not so cool, so I'm going to keep going. <laughs> um, what is uh, Black wool, right? Oh, blue zycorium. Still have that in my hot bar. Didn't mean to keep that there. But, all right, so we're back at Casa del Drank over here. Gonna hop on inside. And check. Okay, so let's put this in here. Oh, yeah, I figured out how to use this thing. So that's pretty cool. I really like all these features that just kind of make life a little bit easier. Uh, one of which is a jetpack, which I don't have yet. But honestly, like, I am driven right now. So, okay, so things that I want to get done today. I want to, well, first, before I get distracted, let's get this done here. Um, I want to... Black wool. Scoop. I want to check out what I can do with these bees. I don't know what will happen when I use this on the thing, but somebody told me in the comments to make this scoop, and uh, so I'm making it, and I'm going to scoop a beehive and see what happens. Hopefully I don't get stung to death by bees or something like that, because that would be bad, and I think that's something that happens. Okay, but I've got sticky resin. What is it? What is it? Uh, let's look up cable, right? Oh, that's a lot of... I want this one. That's the one that I need. So rubber is smelting sticky resin. How else can I get it? Extractor from rubber wood. That's what it is. Okay. How do I make an extractor again? Did I, did I look that up before? Extractor. Um, there we go. A machine block. Ooh, why is it all lit up? What are you doing? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, machine block, electronics, so a bunch of tree taps. Um, what's the machine block? Refined iron, okay. Uh, let's go back to whatever I was doing before. No, okay, what are you doing? Um, extractor, there we go. Extractor, why is it doing this? This thing lit up gold and I don't know why. But, okay, uh, let's see. Electronic circuit, that's the one with copper cable. So, okay, so got to spend money to make money. Got to get some copper cables going before I could even think about getting this thing. Um, so, yeah, that's no problem at all. Another thing, I was looking at aluminum ingots. And here, let's, let's, let's look at this again. Okay, hold on, this is driving me nuts. Why is that doing that? Why are you lit up? Oh, 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 okay. Aluminum ingot. Did I spell it right? Just start with aluminum. Uh, let's just try ingot, I guess. Um, should be there. Which one's aluminum? Yeah, this one. Okay. Block of aluminum smelted makes nine aluminum ingots or aluminum. How do I get aluminum nuggets? Compressor or crafting industrial blast furnace. No, I don't have any of these things. Okay, but so block of aluminum. How do I make a block of aluminum? Compressor. Are there different kinds of aluminum? Is that what's what's happening? Because how am I supposed to turn a thalmium fiery ingot? Oh, this is cool. Iron wood ingot? That's a th what is that? That thing looks like an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> you seeing that? This one right here. That looks like a a weird moldy on the back ice cream sandwich with a golden bottom. I don't even know. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Aluminum. What's going on here? So I click on this one. It says that's how I get it. How do I get an aluminum nugget? 
an aluminum. Okay, this is. So here's my question. What do I do with this? Huh? Aluminum. So what's. Let's see what I can do with this. Do I put this into something fancy and then it. See, this This gives me this aluminum. So how do I turn that aluminum into an aluminum? I, I think I'm, I'm looking at two different kinds of aluminum with two different mods. So I don't know. Am I going to have to get different kinds of aluminum? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That is weird. Oh, uh, wow, I wasted plenty of time, didn't I? Okay, well, let's grab... Okay, my tree tap is getting hurt, so let's... What can I do with... Can I smelt rubber wood? Is that a thing? Yes, I can. What does that do? Let's just put one of them in there. And if cool... Actually, okay, yeah, let's put a bunch... Whoa! Whoa! What? No. Rubber wood just became jungle wood. That's a thing? Look at that. My mind is just absolutely blown right now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I also need another one of these. Uh, and I also need another one of these. There we go. That's another thing I need to look up, is is what kind of materials... Can I make a copper pickaxe? Is that any good? Oh, well... Um... Where is... I need more of these. And then I need more of these. And then I can make... Try to make one of these. Which doesn't do anything. So no, copper pickaxes don't exist. Okay, I'm learning things. I'm learning things. Let's put some sticky resin in there. Get some rubber going. And let's put away... Man, that is going to drive me nuts, but... Oh, 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 there it goes. I just had to give it a love tap, and then it realized it existed. So that's good. Uh, let's grow some rubber trees out here. Can I do that? Just pop one down, pop one down, and pop one down. Another thing I was looking at building was a water mill. It didn't look too complicated. Uh, let me just pull it up one more time. I think I need a machine block. Yeah, okay, to make a gen... So that's, this is why, where I was wondering, where do I get this aluminum? Because I found generator, and then refined iron I can do that's just iron smelted twice. Uh, the RE battery I figured out how to do. Uh, I looked it up on the internet. But this iron... And then... Right, wait, wait, was that the one that I learned how to do? Okay, um... Oh! I can make a generator, like... Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing, what am I doing? Okay, generator. I can make a generator like that, that's pretty cool. But let's look at re-battery. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can pull it up if I do the empty one. There we go. Uh, so, 10. So I need 10. I can get redstone and a copper cable. I already have copper and I'm smelting some rubber. So basically, things to do on the list is get more iron. Definitely need to go mining. I need redstone, iron, all that stuff. Uh, definitely need more rubber. I need more... Let's see. I need to figure out what that deal with the aluminum is. Okay, wait. So I have my scoop here. Let's see what happens if I scoop this thing. Let's break that. What are you going to do? What did it do? Oh, there we go. Look at this. Frozen comb, a wintry princess, and a wintry drone. Okay, look, that's pretty cool. So now I got my own bees. I don't know what they'll do yet. And... If I need to be cautious about things or anything, <laughs> I don't want to get attacked by my bees or something like that. I, like, honestly, y'all probably sitting there being like, you're an idiot. B 
bees can't attack you, but I'm sitting here being like, I'm scared because bees are bad. And why is water not updating correctly? Did I get more bees? Yeah, I got another wintry princess. Another frozen comb. You know what? Let's let's see what I can do with combs. So comb. Wow. That's a lot of different combs. Okay, this one's frozen comb. Uh, let's see what I can do with it. Apiarist chest. Is it just frozen combs? Or can I do that with any comb? Huh. I don't know. I'll look it up. I'll figure out what I can do. Okay. Um. Escape. Anyways, I got some bees. So that's, that's big news. That's getting stuff done, right? That qualifies. Alright. So, like I said, today's getting stuff done day. Uh, and if I were to make y'all sit through the entire process of me getting things done, pretty sure y'all would get bored to death. So, I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to go back here, get more rubber, uh, do that kind of stuff. Let's see, am I still getting, yep, wintry princesses, wintry drones. Okay, so in just a little bit, I'm going to hop back down into my mine there, my cave system. Um, and it's still raining, oh my gosh. Uh, hop back down to the mine, do some mining, hopefully get some redstone, maybe some diamonds, uh, definitely some iron, and I did not build another sword, so, oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm on top of it. Don't worry about me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, guys, I will see you in a bit. We gonna get some stuff done. Mm. All right, guys, I'm back doing some digging down here. And uh, while I was digging, I was, I was doing more and more thinking and, and kind of looking stuff up on my other monitor while I was busy down here. Is he, is he going to? Yeah, he's going to find his way. Um, and I have come around to the subject of Greg Tech. Yep, I, I'm sorry. I don't remember exactly who it was, but you know who you are. Uh, one of my subscribers asked me when I when they saw that I was starting a Feed the Beast um, series. They said, oh man, I hope for your sake that you're not using Greg Tech. Because it basically, you know, makes uh, a lot of the recipes for, for crafting a lot harder and, and all this stuff. And I thought that was interesting. And I, I, like at that point in time, I had no idea, you know, what Greg Tech was about, what it really did, all that stuff. So I was like, oh, I'll look into it eventually. And so uh, right now I'm going to answer the question that right now I'm using the Minecraft uh, mod pack for Feed the Beast. And I decided to use that because I figured, you know, that would be since... Uh, the Minecraft group is using this bunch of mods. I would imagine that it would be easiest to find help with the mods that were being popularly used. You know what I mean? I didn't want to have mods in my mod pack that nobody else was really using, and then it would be hard to find help on that or, or you know, talk to friends who are doing Feed the Beast and that, that sort of thing and not be able to find support for anything I was doing. So that's why I decided to use the the Minecraft mod pack. Um, and and it has Greg Tech in it. And I looked up some stuff and started pondering the possibility that, you know what, maybe I should disable Greg Tech because Greg Tech is very end game driven, which is fine. Like, you know, you guys know me. I'm a technical player, and so I really like endgame stuff, but at the same time, Greg Tech, because of its advanced recipes and things like that, makes it hard for someone like me to just jump into Feed the Beast. Uh, like, for instance, a macerator will, which I, I, until I started playing, my understanding was that a macerator was a relatively beginner machine it, if that makes sense like it's something that you kinda get towards the beginning and you get pretty quickly uh, not anything too crazy but now I'm sitting here 
And I'm looking at, let's see, I'll pull it up. Uh, Macerator. And I pull it up and I see all this business. And I looked it up and to see if I could simplify what I was looking at. And I saw that the Macerator recipe without Greg Tech is like some flint up here, uh, uh, the circuit thingy down here, and some other thing in the middle. I think it was a machine block or something. And just the fact that it's this much harder just to get a macerator going. Let's see. I need, if I remember correctly, I can narrow it down to an advanced circuit down here, three diamonds there, and a machine block there. I think that'll work. Um, and then the flint on the corners, of course. And so I think that's what I'm going to go for, those three diamonds and an advanced circuit, which I was also looking up. So let's just go ahead and do, as soon as it comes up, grab advanced circuit. There we go. So this one I'm going to need glowstone for, um, and I'm going to need, oh, what was that? Silicon plate, huh? Uh, electrum, don't know what that is, won't even bother. Uh, but electronic circuit, so honestly, right now I'm already on the road to getting this macerator because I'm getting the copper, I'm getting the rubber, I'm getting iron, working on redstone, haven't found any yet, but like I said, I'm working on it. Uh, and, and so I've decided that even though it's going to be more work in the beginning, because that endgame stuff is so uh, expansive, and, and from what I've read and what I've found and looked up, uh, Greg Tech really does give you more endgame things. Uh, but that's like, you know, for, again, from what I read, uh, that is once you've you know got plenty of iridium and you've got this and that and the other, then you can start getting some really cool things that are based off Greg Tech. But the price is these crazy crafting recipes that I've got to deal with until then. Oh boy, here we go. So... I've decided that I'm going to stick with Greg Tech. I'm not going to disable it. Uh, maybe that'll change it after a while. Jesus. That guy just flew. Oh, hello. Ha no, no, no. Oh. That torch just survived. What is he doing? Oh, well. So, yeah. I'm going to stick with Greg Tech. I'm still trying to get a hang of it. I also looked up uh, the deal with those aluminum ingots. And what I saw was that... I'm going to need, is this dark side? That's pretty cool. Um, what I'm going to need is bauxite and then a macerator, I think. So that whole um, side of stuff where I'm going to need, I guess, I, th I think it was the water mill that I would need. Uh, is it? Was it the water mill? I think it was the water mill. Um, mill and water mill. Aluminum. Yep, I need aluminum ingots to make a water mill, which for to get the aluminum ingots, I'm going to need a macerator and I'm going to need bauxite, which I haven't found bauxite yet. I supposedly in the right area. I'm in a, I'm in a compatible biome. I'm in all that stuff. Uh, another bit that I have learned is... Everything that isn't updated to my texture pack is Thomcraft stuff. So these shards that I'm getting, earth shards, this, which I don't remember what it was called, but I need an iron pickaxe, I think, or maybe some magical Thomcraft pickaxe. I, I, I don't know. All I know is that I can't get it with my stone pickaxe. Um, stuff like that and that one villager that was trading Thomcraft items, like those chicken nuggets, uh... Thanks to another person for a helpful comment. Side note, the triple meat treat that I saw in the Not Enough Items last episode, I am pretty sure that that's the most epic thing I've ever seen, and therefore I'm probably going to have to build some sort of factory at some point in this series. Uh, ooh, what's that? That's something new, isn't it? The little cracked ones? And then there's some water shards, or whatever the blue shards will be called. Is this redstone? I bet that's... No, it's not lighting up. Is it? Let's, are you lighting up? No, it's not redstone. Ah, texture packs. Okay, what is this? Something that I can't break. 
All right, all right, all right. Time to find out what some of these mystery ores are. Got my iron pickaxe. Okay, so I can break that one. What, what is that one called? Cinnabar ore. Ooh, that's exotic. All right. Let's have about this blue one. What do I get? Sapphire. Ooh, I know that I can make sapphire tools. So that may be better than the iron. I'm, that's exciting. Okay. So that's sapphire. The blue with the circular. Okay. What about this new ore miner? Uranium. Ooh, cool. Very, very cool. I know I can do some nuclear things with that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so let's get some more of the cinnabar ore. So again, anything that you see on in my videos that's not updated to the 32 by or whatever this is, I think it's 128 by 128. Yeah. Um, anything that's not updated to the 128 by 128 is something from Thalmcraft. So, and that's also definitely something that I'm interested in looking into. Probably should have made an iron sword, but eh. All right, so... Let's keep looking for new and exciting things. Some of that blue zycorium. This, what is this? Let's let's see what this is. Can I break it with that? Nope. What are you? Silver. Okay. Cool, cool. I am learning. Another thing that I was really bummed to to find out when I uh, looked into the stuff was that I'm not sure if this is a Greg Tech thing or just a, a regular old update update thing. Um, but is this, what is this? Is that, oh, that's the tin. Right, right, right. And tin I'm actually going to need for some things that I don't remember what I need them for. But <laughs> I remembered that I need it. So, our, oh my gosh, that's hurting my eyes over there. Uh Oh, okay, so uh, this is... Green sapphire. Oh, that's good stuff. Can't I make like swords and weapons and stuff out of that too? And my inventory is full. I don't need rotten flesh. Lead. Lead is important. I know lead is important. <laughs> There's so many things that I just... I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know that... Okay, I'm going to make a wild guess. I'm going to say that this right here is ruby. Is there something that I don't need? Yeah, I don't need that wood pickaxe anymore. Rubies, right? Rubies! Yes! Alright, so I should look into uh, what kind of stuff, what level of tools, I guess. Uh, all the. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going back towards the surface here. More tin. And this stuff is called. What is it called? Ow. It's not called Ow. Ooh, more lead. How did I get down here? Didn't even know that was a place. Lead? That's good. I don't remember what the green stuff is called now. Do I have some of it on me? No. I have some of it in my house, though. I'm pretty sure. And we got company. Come on down. You wanna fight? You wanna fight about it? Come on. Come on! Come on! Come down here. There you go. Sissy. Alright, here we go. Uh, more iron. Definitely going to be a necessity because I need a lot of those machine boxes and stuff like that. Um, die, 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 die. Sweet. Alright. Uh, iron. 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 I'll be back for the coal. Oh my gosh. Got that nasty inventory right now. Okay, I don't need the wood axe. Uh, I should have gotten rid of the wood shovel. Yeah, that'll work. Don't need that. Um, wood axe. I want the wood axe back. There we go. Got it. I can take that too. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to go back to the surface, make a little pit stop, come back down here, mine a little bit more. Uh, I, I, I'm going to keep trying for diamonds. Let's see, what am I at right now? I'm at 33. I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine down a little bit. Um, like I said, make a pit stop, mine down a little bit, and go for 
diamonds. All right, here we are down in our ravine. Actually, this is a completely different ravine, but check it out, guys. I'm already getting fancy over here. Got green sapphire pickaxe. Uh, apparently, from what I understand, I could be wrong, but from what I understand, this pickaxe right here is about as fast as diamond. Can it break obsidian? I think I need diamond for that, but it, it's it's about as fast as diamond. See, like that, going through stone? It's about as quick as diamond, but it just doesn't last as long. It's not as durable. Uh, but, check it out! Now, pretty dang sure that's a diamond. <laughs> yeah? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Okay, um... I also have uranium, sapphire, ruby... I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments, uh, what is good to make tools out of, and what isn't. There we go! Diamonds! Yeah! First diamond. That's exciting, because now I'm one step closer, per usual, to the jetpack! Seriously, like, honestly, I am beyond excited to be able to start flying everywhere. Another thing that I've noticed is that these shards are basically everywhere. So, eh, not really worth digging up all of them. But, I guess they're pretty cool, and it's good to know that they're down here. Uh, it's just that when you're playing Feed the Beast, your inventory just fills up so dang quickly. You just can't even catch up with it, because there's so many different things that you're collecting. So, yeah. I think, actually, guys, that... Oh, oh, oh. I was about to end the episode without showing you guys something. You know what? I'll see you back on the surface... And then, I'll show you what I did, a little bit off camera, and then we will end this episode. So guys, I'll be right back, and you guys are going to be so proud of me. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, 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 here we are back at Casa del Drink. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to move that waypoint to like here or something so that's not as invasive but check it out guys we got a generator and I got a bat box I've already been filling it up see right under here I've got uh, what, what do I got a copper cable right there it's just connecting the generator to the bat box uh, and so that bat box as soon as I get something that'll need energy to, to use to, to do things then I can hook it up to that bat box and so that way uh, please correct me if I'm wrong again in the comments so that way you know I burn stuff in here so let's let's say uh, I don't want a door I don't want the door put the door in there burn it up okay maybe doors don't burn <laughs> uh, I don't want the pressure plate put the pressure plate in there burn it up and it'll charge my bat box right there see that so I got 750 EU in there for burning that pressure plate and that EU oh my goodness what is that noise did you guys hear that did you that was that was in my apartment and I don't know what that was you know what we're just gonna keep on going like that didn't happen anyways guys I have got look at all this ore I got all this iron ore let's uh let's start splitting this up here um, we want eight in there for a stack of iron there we go and then I've got plenty of copper I also I went deep enough to find tungsten I'm pretty sure that's important I got ferrous ore I also think that's a pretty big deal uh, I got some gold some crude oil which I don't know what to do with yet but I will find out got plenty of tin that's good copper yeah silver lead aluminum uh, got this nickelite stuff some redstone green sapphire got rubies diamond uranium lapis lazuli ruby sapphire more stuff and I look at this I found a protection 3 book uh, this music disc right there stall in a uh, I found a little zombie spawner uh, as you can see, I made a little green sapphire sword. Look at that thing. That thing looks dangerous. Um, 
But yeah, so guys, this is... I'm getting excited. You know, when I first started this series, I didn't, I, I didn't know what was going on. And, and I, I kind of feel like I'm starting to get comfortable with it. There's still so much stuff that I just... I have no idea what to do with it or, or blah, blah, blah. But now, you know, I got a generator. I got a bat box. I feel like I'm, I'm catching on. Of course, this is completely useless right now because I have nothing to hook up to. I don't have a jetpack to charge in here. I don't... Yeah, but but you get the idea. Like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm catching on a little bit. Now, last note before I end the episode. I have something special in here. Maybe you saw it when I opened it for a second. But down here, I've got... Tables and scribing tools. Now, I know that a lot of people are getting into Thalmcraft and, and all this magic and wizardry and, and, and all that stuff. And I also know, I, as far as I understand, that Thalmcraft is, is very complicated and it doesn't really play well with uh, other mods, if you get what I'm saying. Um, like, if, if I tried to do Thomcraft, I'd need to dedicate, you know, a pretty good amount of work to Thomcraft to keep it at something about flux or something, 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 or else I'll just make a fool out of myself. But, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys in the comments. If you want to see me do some Thomcraft, then you let me know. But... If Thomcraft is something that you're not interested in and you want to see me just go after making machines and making automatic farms and, and doing all that technical stuff, then you let me know about that too. So, I will end the episode today with a glitchy Thomcraft table that doesn't know what it's supposed to be doing right now. I've got my research table. Whether I will or will not use this in the future is up to to you guys. Leave a comment down below whether you think I should even look at Thomcraft. Also, tell me how I did today. If there's something I missed or something that I should do next, let me know. Leave a like if you liked it. I hope you guys have an excellent day. Adios.